<laughs> he was like, can we get on the game? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, you wanna play the game? And Tim's like, wanna, oh wait, we have a game? You wanna start? <laughs> Got any grapes? <laughs> Alright, oh, nice. Oh! oh Byleth oh, did us! Right. Let's go! Oh, dude, we got... I we, feel like if one of them went Byleth, that would mean that like they're training Byleth. Yeah. The fact that they both went Byleth means like neither of them know what they're doing. Yeah. They're just gonna like... We got we got the quad stin versus the regular professor stin. Interesting. I don't think I've seen like any Byleth, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I've seen like a few random Twitter videos of like, check out this confer like down tilt into yeah. upbeat or something. But I've never seen her like actually played. There's a um, it's not true, Whoa. but there's an like, a zero to death with uh, Byleth versus DK. It's pretty ridiculous. Interesting. So I think the game plan here is to like space them out with uh. With, like the lance. Lance is really good. The lance is pretty much like the bread and butter of Byleth. Okay. Looks like Nair is pretty similar to like Palu's Nair or something. Yeah. Where you kind of like string them together. It 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 sends them. It doesn't send them towards like the way you're facing like Palutena though. Oh, so it that's unfortunate. It's a bit okay. harder to combo off of. But if you do a drag down Nair, you can combo it into like a forward tilt at literally low percentage. It's pretty good. <laughs> you can land before that last hit. Yeah. Sends them out. It sends them out like right in front of you perfectly. And then the down smash, like, is ridiculous. It can almost break shields. Oh, bad up. Oh, unlucky. Alright, so Improv does lose the first stock Ooh. and immediately, yeah, just like you were tipper. saying with that spear, it's gonna immediately even it back up. And then the up smash is also really nice. It kills out uh, like 100. <laughs> Looks like Improv likes the dash attack a lot as well. Yeah. <laughs> the dash attack is also really good. It's, like, safe as well, so it's. It's really hard to like play around sometimes. Oh, uh, he read the roll in. So is that aerial side B? Yeah. Okay. So you have uh, like the aerial side B where they go like a spin, and then um, if you hold side B and like you hold it kind of, he bio will dash forward, and then if you don't hold it, he'll just kind of like do a spear, like a regular attack, not like a okay. poke, but like a giant wave up, I guess. Oh, the parry. Doesn't punish anything though. All right, improv. Even though he lost the first stock, has a little bit of a lead here. Yeah. Oh, that's actually some good damage. I feel like the nair is really good too. Yeah, it seems like it's a good like uh, kind of reset the uh, the ledge trap situation. Yeah, and just like kind of back out there. Yeah. Yeah, out smash kills at like a hundred. It's ridiculous. Jesus. Oh, what's up, Paul? We're gonna get Paul in here after uh, after this game. All right, cool. Yo, what's up, Paul? Oh, I didn't even know. She uh, oh, I actually have heard a little bit about her bow. Yeah. So the bow, um, you can't like release it immediately. You have to wait, and if you wait long enough, it turns like into a yellow glow. And if you hit the yellow glow, it's um really powerful. Okay. Is there something weird with like spot dodging with the? Yeah, you can spot dodge. Bow. So while it's blue, you can spot dodge, but once it turns yellow, you can't spot dodge or cancel it. Interesting. Okay. Um. Oh, and rather so will take it. There's going to be like an a new game arena opening. I think on the Columbus campus, right? OSU campus, or like yeah. near there. Yeah. Yeah, there will be one. Uh. You know, soon TM. Yeah. Uh, don't you know? Don't bet anything on it. The release date. But yeah. eventually, we are getting another game arena down by campus. I'm going to yeah. hand the mic over to GB Paulito. Am I on? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, I'm on now. Okay, so here's the inside scoop. Chipmunk is actually a tour, so we should all root for Chipmunk. <laughs> Just say it. Oh, we got Okay, now we're playing. Now they're actually Whoa. playing their real characters. Okay, that's not Chipmunk's real character. It isn't? He plays K. Rule. Oh yeah, that's right. So this might be a secondary for PT because I imagine K. Rule PT isn't the greatest. Yeah, I mean Squirtle and Ivysaur just shred K. Rule feels like. Right. Either way, we're gonna get started here. Uh, Improv's just looking for those little combo starters as Squirtle does. Yeah. Uh, Chipmunk's just trying to stay in mid range, try to get... space him out. Yeah. Use lasers. Get get this grab. Wolf's combo yeah. game is actually like pretty decent. His bread yeah. and butters. It's, it's insanely good, honestly. Mm -hmm. And he, he already has, like, a really good start. Yeah. 
At this point, I feel like Wolf is just a sword character. Um, uh, sort of. He, he, oh. I think he might be alive. No, he's not. No. All right, that, that's an unfortunate SD from Improv. Yeah. Uh, I feel like he, the Squirtle isn't really working out for him that well right now, so I feel like he might uh, have to switch to Ivysaur and think of a yeah. different game plan, like maybe a uh, zone with Razor Leaf or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, if he does that, Wolf can just counter that Blaster, and Blaster beats every projectile in the game. True, much. but then it just gets into like, yeah, this this counterplay has this kind of counterplay. Yeah, it, it's that's why Smash Brothers is a good fighting game. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, not not really. Uh, I mean, Ultimate is kind of bad sometimes. Either way, back to the match. He is gonna switch to Ivysaur finally, and he is doing decently. He is spamming those Razor Leaves like I yeah. asked him to. He heard me. Let's go improv. Also, but let's go Chipmunk because he's a tour. Yep. Uh, Ooh, we didn't space the back air properly. Oh, and the back air. The, the, Classic, uh, the slow cross up to back air. No, yep. one, no one expects it. Oh, the and he's down gonna smash. catch the neutral, get up with the down smash. And it's not looking good. I feel like Squirtle just is. Oh, no, yeah. Squirtle no. just isn't working out as well as I think Improv wants him to. Yeah. And I think Improv is just trying to force Squirtle at this point. I think he should just. Uh, even if Squirtle is his best, I feel like he should just uh, stick with Ivy and yeah. Zard. I mean, he, he looks like he's doing good right now. He's racking up the damage. Yeah. But I feel like at this point, at this percentage, he needs to do Ivysaur to try and, like, try and finish it out. Uh, yeah. That could be a thing. He, the thing is, uh, Ivysaur kind of gets suffocated in shield because he doesn't yeah. have great out option. But he does have the kill power. So mm -hmm. let, we can see. And I don't think Wolf really has a bunch of shield pressure. Yeah. Uh, he can. Yeah. Uh, Zar, I'm biased against Zar. Uh, for Zard. I love Zard. Yeah. He's looking for these out smashes, though. That, that's not great. He's gonna get the Nair. He's gonna knock him off stage. Zard ledge trapping is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's like better than most, actually. The uh, F tilt. It's really good at ledge. Yeah. F tilt, bear. Uh, he's gonna throw him off stage. Gonna try to get the flame breath. That's not gonna do it. Town City platforms. And. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Two stock. Going for the handshake, though. I like it. Respect. See, one in, oneers and twoers can't get along. Sometimes, but you know, are you a oneer or a twoer? Uh, what does that mean? Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you stack, you have two cooked lasagnas, yeah? <laughs> oh no, no lasagna. And then you put one lasagna on the other lasagna. Uh huh. How many lasagnas do you have? One lasagna. No. You mm. have two lasagna. You have two lasagna. In my opinion, I there's two. Lasagna. Show. <laughs> yeah, two lasagnas. Other people will say one lasagna. They're wrong. Yeah. I feel like the crust. The you bake. Uh, you bake a lasagna, right? Mm -hmm. And so the top layer forms differently than the rest of the lasagna. Yeah. So that just defines the end of the lasagna. Mm -hmm. You can't m put more layers on top of that yeah, crust. Yeah. Yeah. It's just separate. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, you got stats. How so, do you do that? Oh, whatever. Is that? Yeah. Wait. Is there like a special plugin? Oh, okay. Does it like count the percentages? Oh, that's cool. It's kind of sick. There's a what? Oh. So there's a two to one difference, <laughs> like in, between stots and everything. So like for every two stots that uh, the rapid chipmunk took out, there's only one stot taken from like by improv. Yeah. Uh. Maybe if they didn't violet it. Up. Yeah. The violet it was close from what I saw. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, I feel like that could have been that. That was very like <laughs> improv could have had that, but the one game deficit with their act, like actual characters, mm -hmm. it just kind of make it. It just made it harder. It's made yeah, made it a lot harder. It like because especially Cause you, with, like you can feel them out the first game, right? Especially with PT, mm -hmm. where you kind of have to play around with different play styles. Yeah. You gotta figure out your opponent, what works and what doesn't. Because you have to do that with three characters. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. There's a different play style for each one. Mm -hmm. And adapting accordingly is what BT is about, kind of. Mm-hmm. 